we start training on the Ricoma and we run off our first caps. Stay tuned. Welcome back, if you're new to the channel, I'm Matt. We recently got a Ricoma embroidery machine and we're gonna kinda show you what the training was like and how easy it was to get into embroidery. We do have a promo code for this machine and it's a great way to get into embroidery. We'll be sure to leave a link down in the description. What it will do is kick a little bit of a commission our way. It'll go towards our machine and we can continue to grow the embroidery side of our business. But let's go ahead and get into the video. We're in the middle of our training and we're running off our first cap. Two days better than two months. To come on with <laughs> Literally been waiting two months for the people to do our hat. Hey Shannon, what do you think about the about the allowance Oh, it's not as bad as the compressor. <laughs> in on the action. Why don't you film yourself? <laughs> it was hard to get this in here, right? Well, I'm kind of missing a piece. Well, I'm missing. Oh. I was just going to let you figure it out. Well, I remember that part. So, just remember uh, that she said that what you have to do is, is pull, 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 especially on this, pull the back rather than the back. pushing it on because it will push the machine back. Are you sure this goes like this? Mm-hmm. Like yeah. this? The back end move. I, I believe. Well, well, that's what we're doing. You might have to go back and watch those videos. So our issue right now is trying to remember whether or not the part of the brim needs to go inside. Uh -oh. There we go. Yeah, you got it! But it didn't have to go all the way down. It's just supposed to hit right there at the, Keep the going very edge. Yeah, um, I think so. Like right there. And then center hold it tight okay so it goes over those this is harder than i thought <laughs> <laughs> yeah there you go it's not original latch oh there you go is it too tight yeah all right we had to get this part of the hoop situated it was a little tight for this cap so there's a screw where you can loosen that and pull it forward that's better yeah, I think this part, was that supposed to be? Yeah, I think that's about as close as it's going to get, huh? Are we using the clamps? Yeah, you can if you want. I mean, it helps kind of... Oh, really? Didn't you think? Well, we're about to so I felt out. like it was kind of... I don't think you used them last time when she had uh -uh. mentioned that. Yeah. All right. All right, so now you got to take that off. Well, you can start going through the settings. Where's the USB? I, it's plugged in already. Oh, sh No, it's not. Mm -mm. What did I do with it? Here it is. Here you go. Here's, I might just like print this out and put it on the wall. Yeah, probably. Unlock, there's the design. And just squeeze it until it locks. Can't do that. <laughs> it's a learning experience, learning experience. Look at where the needle's at and mm -hmm. how close it gets to the hoop. All right, let's do it again. So it could go much closer. Mm-hmm, it can go lower. So, yeah. So unlock it. Uh, no, you don't have to unlock it. Just hit the arrows. Yeah, there we go. Probably needs to go more. Or more. All right, do the trace thing. Yep. I yeah, it can still go lower. The trace? Okay, I think that's better. That's you? Yeah, I can 
I was looking at the black thing. I should have been at all. Yeah, it's good. I think he's gonna okay. be somewhere right here, half an inch. Okay. okay there we go. Up. This is actually one of the jobs that we're outsourcing that they're taking forever on. So, uh -huh. and we only got three thousand seven hundred sixty-five so, stitches. So trace it again, or just start? I'd say start. I'd say let her rip. Looks good. I'm gonna take well, a picture. Finish. I'm gonna take a picture. I'll load it up. It's, it's Mario's first embroidery. He's gonna take a picture and hang the picture up on his refrigerator. See that? I can do it. <laughs> yeah, but yours is going in front of a lot of people. <laughs> I don't care. I don't care today. So yeah, now just unlock it and pull her off. Yeah, I mean the embroidery looks looks really good now we just have to work on placement. our placement of these things because um Fours, man. yeah you gotta start somewhere yeah see. so mario did one i did one he did a little on the high side but i think the embroidery looks good now, this is the first one so this i mean it came out really awesome and i have something to compare it to so here's the one that Mario just did. And this is actually a job that we need to do. We're gonna go grab our caps Monday so we can keep that money in our pocket. But this came out really awesome. Now, we gotta keep money in the pocket just to get it done. It was easy to get it done as well. But here, this was done on another vendor's machine. The people yeah. we normally outsource it to. And here's the difference between two, aside from I chose different colors to use. So here's what we did on the Ricoma. This is what our vendors did for us some years ago. So we had a file to, to compare and I, I couldn't be happier with the results and how easy the machine is to use. So now we just need to work on our alignment and, and placement and we're in business. In case you're wondering, it is supposed to have these lines in it as part of the design. It's like the logo's moving fast. Same thing over here, but I do feel like the grouping over here is nicer in my opinion. And that's not just because we have the machine. I mean, look here at this part. And who knows, this is a dad cap, this is a little more firm, but the quality is just on point. So I'm a happy camper. Training was super simple. We still need to just dial in using the machine thus far. Getting this thing up and running, we've ran off three caps, two solo without the training. And we're excited, so be sure to stay tuned. Next video, we'll run off a customer's job. It has gone halfway through, hasn't it? Yeah, we ordered this machine, but Dad ordered this machine. <laughs> That's right. What do you think about this? It's pretty cool now. It is pretty cool, huh? I thought it would be boring, but it's pretty cool. Oh, so it's not boring, but it's pretty cool, huh? Yeah.